Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome back to One Seed, One World. So today I wanted to give you a couple of quick tips if you are up planting or transplanting flowers. Now specifically today I'm doing Celosia, uh, but I also have some coxcomb and some zinnias that I need to kind of transfer out of their pots. They got kind of crowded. Uh, let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's some of my Celosia, and you can see there's a lot kind of packed in there together. Because, uh, you know, with, especially with Celosia seeds, they're really tiny, and trying to get them divided up sometimes can be kind of difficult. And so after you plant them, you may end up with kind of a grouping instead of some single flowers. Um, and so if you want to split them up, uh, let me just show you a couple things. So tip one, um, you want to make sure that they have true leaves on them first. When they first pop, uh, they're only going to have two little leaves. I don't have any that look like that. I mean, some of these are smaller, but they all have true leaves on them. You can see some of these are kind of bigger. And then we also have some little guys in here, like that one there. Um, but you want to make sure that they want to have their true leaves on them first. Uh, before doing any type of transplanting and really that goes for any plants that you're going to do whether it's tomatoes peppers eggplant or flowers um, When they first pop up and only have those first two leaves which are cotyledons, I think is the way you pronounce it um, I'll put the word down below here so that you can see what the actual word is if you want to look it up uh, but the plant you know the the seedling is just getting started and might not be strong enough to survive a transplanting uh, so make sure they have a, another set of leaves on at least before you do any type of transplanting. Another set in addition to those first two. The second thing you want to make sure, uh, especially if you're going to be transplanting them outside, is to make sure that you've got warm enough weather. Uh, you know, they're going to still be frost tender or... I should say they wouldn't survive a frost. <laughs> uh, so make sure that your temperatures outside is, you know, at least in the 40s, preferably. Most times when you transplant things outside, you would like it to be 50 degrees Fahrenheit on the regular and above uh, so that you don't have to worry about getting hit with some frost. Now, if you're transplanting just for inside plants or stuff that you're putting in pots that you can, you know, quickly move inside if a surprise frost shows up, then, uh, you know, Transplant away. You don't have to necessarily wait for the temperatures, but specifically for outside. Number three, when you're doing your transplanting, make sure that they have some water. Um, when you put them either in a pot or outside in the ground, kind of water them in. Gives, uh, makes it easier for the roots to kind of get going there in the soil and helps them with the uptake of the nutrients and whatnot from the soil. You don't want to plant them when it's like super dry because uh, that could just kill them off if they didn't have anything to drink. So if you made it this far in the video, uh, you're probably interested in up-potting or transplanting your flowers like Celosia, Coxcomb, or Zinnia. Um, if so, and if you've done it before, put some comments down below. Let me know if there's different techniques that you use that give you more success, uh, or if you've tried some ones that maybe didn't work so well. Uh, list those down there as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. The fourth thing with transplanting is you want to be kind of gentle with them. I mean, the stems at this point, some now when they're getting a little bit bigger, they're a little bit tougher. But if you end up with some of these smaller ones, it's easy to snap them off. Uh, so you want to try to, as you separate, maybe grip more at the top uh, with the upper leaves uh, or, and or handle by your root base a little bit. Um, that way you're not snapping off any stems because they can be kind of weak during that point. But let's get a couple of these pulled apart and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So these over here are ones that I did about three days ago that were some pretty tiny ones that when I separate them, instead of putting them outside, I put them in these uh, little potting cells to kind of give them a little bit more time to get stronger before putting them outside. Looks like most all of them have survived so far over the last three days. This one here probably didn't have enough root base because it's dying off, but the rest did okay. So when you're taking them up and out, give your little potting 
pot, a little squeeze to kind of loosen up the soil. Tip it upside down and kind of just let it drop out. You can kind of pinch your fingers around the plants like that to help pull, like that. And now you've got your plants out. Then you want to just gently separate. You, some of the roots are going to break. You can't get around that when they're tight together like this. But just kind of gently pull to kind of keep as many intact as possible. There we go. And then we have to do it again. Sometimes you can kind of do it from the bottom here and just gently pull it out. This doesn't always work, so we'll see what happens with this one. Oh, yep, got a good root base out of that one. You see we got our root, and this is a smaller plant, so this one, this one I'm going to put in my little pot here to give it a little bit more time. Okay, if you're planting them outside, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Um, except you'll just have to make yourself a bigger hole when you're dealing with the bigger plants. You can maybe see here, I got some other ones already out here that I did a couple days ago that have already started to settle in. But, I'm just going to use my homie tool here. Looks like I got some grass roots growing in here. Get myself a little hole once again. I'm gonna try to separate these gently. See how they do pulling apart. Now, still got a nice little root on that one. Most of the root is hanging on this one here, as you can see. Um, but you're just gonna pack these roots down in there and then fill in your hole and firm up your soil around it. And then you'll give it some water when you're done. Until, let's see, I'm gonna give this one a little bit more dirt because it's a little wobbly there. I wanna make sure it's gonna be able to stand up on its own okay when a breeze comes by. All right, and then we'll put this little guy in here on the edge, I think. go got a couple more in and then we'll let those grow okay so that's about it for uh, up potting or transplanting uh, celosia or really this would apply to a lot of different flowers out there and I have a lot in here to do um, besides my celosia coxcomb and zinnia I also have some stocks and pansies that I need to uh, move to some other areas and separate and whatnot. So hopefully they all go as well as this logia has gone so far. But whatever's going on in your neck of the woods, I hope you are having a fantastic day and that everything with your growing season is coming together this 2023. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me again today and we will see you again soon. Namaste.